Yeah, Evan, the leadership says they were surprised by the veto because they say the bill would have kept veteran officers in their jobs at a time when many agencies are seeing staffing shortages. Meanwhile, the governor says his veto is helping protect the state's finances. Recruiting and retention in law enforcement all across the state, we're in a crisis. In Tulsa and Oklahoma City alone, the two largest departments, we are four to 500 officers short right now. Oklahoma Fraternal Order of Police President Mark Nelson says Senate Bill 102 vetoed by the governor on Tuesday would have increased retirement benefits for officers, incentivizing them to stay on the job a few years longer. But in his veto message, Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt said he's concerned the increased benefits won't be fully funded. We're in great financial shape right now, uh, but I'm never going to put our law enforcement and most importantly, our state in a bad financial position. I know what our math is. We, we, we researched and dug into this for years, and and in a year, meaning two or three years before we even proposed the legislation. Um, we even this year pushed the effective date out another year so that cities could plan for this. Nelson acknowledging that funding will dip slightly to 96% over the next few years, but argues projections show retirement benefits will be fully funded again by 2031. Now, while the Oklahoma Attorney General Gettner Drummond has joined calls for an override of this veto, the Senate pro tem says a decision has not been made yet on whether or not to proceed with that override. Reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.